Hey, good evening, man. Good evening. Good evening, man. I want to again welcome you guys back to the Conversation 9-8. Got another week and, and truly excited about the opportunity to be before you again this week. Uh, man, all things are great and and uh, truly excited and, and uh, you know, glad I'm back. Glad I'm back again and just looking forward to the conversation tonight. Um, I hope all is well, man. I want to say happy holidays to everybody. Um, you know, we getting ready for the holiday season. So I hope, um, you know, I hope everybody holidays going well, uh, uh, traveling mercy to everybody that, uh, that's traveling, being with family and friends during this time. Uh, and I pray that for those that may be struggling during this time, my prayers with you. I know, uh, it, it's a tough time, especially when you lose close family members, um, it can be a tough time. So my prayers with you and let you know that you're not alone. You got a lot of people standing with you that care about you. And uh, I just wanted to just share that with you guys. And uh, before we get started tonight, but again, man, uh, I appreciate it. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, you guys are appreciated uh, every week. Uh, I, I really look forward to it. And, and, I, and I'm not only thankful, but I am grateful uh, that you guys keep rocking with your boy. Um, but share this, tune in, this interaction won't be before you long tonight. Got a real good topic tonight. Uh, was in prayer and meditation and God dropped this on me. So I know the topic is going to be be a good one tonight. And uh, just looking forward to just having the conversation, just having the conversation. Um, but this is a, uh, a, a interactive. So if you feel free, you want to comment, you know, be in, let me know where you're tuning in from uh, and, and uh, we can. We can go ahead on. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. Um, got through the intros and all of that, man. Uh, but tonight, tonight's show is going to be a good one. And I look forward to it. And the reason why I look forward to it is because tonight's show, we're talking about unlocking the power found in your mindset and your willingness to change. Uh, there's a lot that can be found with that. And, and I was just uh, meditating on that. But, you know, really what I found in my life, right, and this is not a saying like you got all the answers or try to act like I got all the answers. No, but there's something powerful found in your mindset. You see what I'm saying? How you think this is how you manage. Most of the time, our life and the quality of our lives, lives are found in our mindset and our willingness to change, right? Because a lot of times what we thinking about and what we want doesn't uh, automatically line up to where we're at. And our willingness to change, to put in the work, to do the hard work, to do those things, to be disciplined about these things or to make those necessary changes will directly impact where our life will eventually be. And a lot of times what we have to do is we got to we got to change our mindset and be willing to change. Right. Um, but that's it. I mean, that's that's simply it in that in that aspect, uh, that aspect. Uh, what's going on, Larry? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Uh Appreciate you tuning in, but you know, one one thing that I like, man, and 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 it was very critical for me with my understanding. But you know, when you think about it, right? The, in the Bible, it says in Romans, "Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind." Right? Transformation would not happen. Change would not happen if your mindset don't change, right? And you don't have a willingness to do the work to bring it forth to change. The problem many of us have is we talk a lot about what we want, but we're not willing to do the work to get to manifest or to bring forth what we desire. Right. And that's all talk. What, what the power found is say, you know what? I know I need to change my mindset. Not only do I need to change my mindset, I need to change, be willing to embrace and accept that change. Be willing to get over the simple fact that I may not want to do something, but I'm, I'm 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 locked in on doing what I need to do so that I can grow, so that I can become better because I'm not satisfied with where I'm at. And it's all about mindset, all about mindset and being willing to change, being willing to change. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. Good evening to you, Miss Lane. Good evening to you. Uh, but yeah, just having that mindset. And I'm, I'm just telling you, just being honest, having that mindset. You know, um, one of the things I think about a lot and I think about it often is um, a lot of times the thing that goes against our willingness to change. And even though we may know we want to change, even though we know we may know deep down inside that that, that we need to change for the better. But the thing that keep us from from. 
from making the necessary steps to change is the fact that we like to be comfortable and we don't like something to make us uncomfortable. And the thing we don't like to make us uncomfortable is the unknown and or the unknown. And a lot of times the fear of the unknown comes from our unwillingness to even go forward, because this is the thing about the powerful of changing your mindset. When your mind is made up, right, when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? You don't care about what you have to do. You don't, you don't consider those barriers that you may have to face the same way you do when you, um, um, when you don't want to change, right? When you are comfortable with things, you accept things, uh, that, that, that you wouldn't normally accept when you're uncomfortable. And that all about changing your mindset. That really all boils down to you being willing to change your mindset or how you see things or how you view things. Uh, and, and and that is something that I, I think really when we sit down and look at it, you know, it's really boils down to change it of a mindset. Um, I got a classmate who I have a lot of admirations for. And what I appreciate about him is I've watched him and observed him over the last few years. And one thing that I've observed is I've observed a shift in his mindset. And, and with the shifting in his mindset, he did a lot of work behind the scenes. He was willing to do the work to, to, to bring forth, to put himself in positions to be where he's at right now. He's very successful right now, but he he doesn't mind. He had a shift in his mindset. And not only he had a shift in his mindset, he was willing to change. He was willing to do the work. He was willing to do the work behind the scenes to put himself in a position so that he can manifest and, and, and fulfill what he got going on right now. And I watch him and admire him and not from the fore, but I always let him know. So, hey, bro, I, I like how you're doing it. I, I appreciate you putting that work in. Hey, that's inspirational to me. And you know what? I, 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 I applaud you because of your willingness to do the work, your willingness to do the work. You know, we our one thing about it is our lives would not change from where is that right now if our mindset don't change and if we are unwilling to do the work. It just won't do it. I don't care how much you try to 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 read self help books or self empowering books. You know, unless you're willing to do the work and change some of those things, and change some of those behaviors, and change some of your mindset, and to challenge yourself in areas that you didn't chat that you are refusing to challenge yourself in, we won't we won't see the change or reap the change or benefit from the change in which we say that we desire. You know, because most of us, we we just we we like to to uh, say we won't change with our words, but we are unwilling to to pursue that change with our actions. And that's sad because many of us, we stay stuck, we stay stagnant and we never see the change. And we have a woe is me mindset. But the reality is the problem is you because you are unwilling to change your mindset and change. You're unwilling to do that, you know, the, and and. And this is this is one of the funniest things. But one of the funniest things is the people that are unwilling to change will always se seem to find blame with somebody else externally for their reasons why they are refusing to change. But they're only looking at that as an excuse not to change because they don't want to change in the first place. You may be in a marriage and you know your behavior is not good, but you sit around and say, well, you ain't changing because they doing this, that and the third. You may be on your job and you just a sorry employee, right? And you know you mediocre, but you try to convince yourself that you are better than what you are because you are refusing to change. And then when other people around you are blessed because they, they change their behavior, right? And their mindset has changed. You want to find fault in them and saying that, oh, they just kissing up or, oh, they just doing this or, oh, they just that. No, they put in the work. You just was unwilling to put in the work. And, and, and it's so funny how people will always try to find blame with other people when the really the blame is pointing back at them and they don't want to accept that responsibility. It's funny. That's a funny thing. And you see it all the time. You will see it all the time. You see people all the time. You're around them. The first thing they want to do, right, is they want to point the blame at somebody else, but they're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to change their mindset. Their mindset is that, you know, uh, their mindset is what's holding them back. You know, and and. One thing about it is where your mind at, how you think, can be the prison that a lot of us stay stuck in for our lives because we are unwilling to challenge that. We are unwilling to change because we are afraid that that change 
will force us to deal with ourselves. So what we do is we create this false sense of security and this false reality that we are OK, but we we still we live frustrated with the dysfunction that we live through every day. But what the, the answer is real easy is we really found in our willingness, right, and to, to change our mindset and to embrace something new and to put forth the work to manifest something new. That's where the change come in. Then. The change don't come in and you trying to make yourself comfortable. The change ain't going to come in with that. The change is going to come with your, your willing to say, you know what, this is not good and I need to do something else. And I'm willing to do that because I need to do that so that I can grow in this area. Uh, Ms. Lloyd said, it's easy to find an ex find excuses to not change. Yes, it is. But also, too, change is uncomfortable. The, it, change is very uncomfortable. It is very uncomfortable. You know, one thing about it, one thing about it is this, and I don't care how you look at it, right? Nothing works having is going to come with ease. Nothing, nothing that is worth having is going to come with ease. The difference is you find comfort in your willingness to embrace it and your mentality, right? And, and your, your willingness to accept change. You know, uh, a good marriage is not going to come easy. Being a good parent is not going to come easy. Being a good employee, being a good boss, all of being a good leader is not going to come easy. You know, the favor of God is not fair. And we talk about favor, but favor of God don't come easy. There's some sacrifice with it. There's some hardships with it, right? But if your mindset is to embrace those uncomfortable things, what you will begin to do is you'll begin to find joy in those uncomfortable things. That's when you can start to do what the Bible says, count it out joy when you face various trials and tribulations. Because it's about perfecting you and you'll realize these things that are made that i at first looked at as being uncomfortable really made me stronger so embrace that have that mindset and be willing to embrace change be willing to embrace change it is so necessary it is so necessary and the sad part is Many of us lose uh, out on reaping the benefits of the blessings in our lives because we refuse to change we refuse to change. And, and, and what we look for, is we look to surround ourselves by a hype crew or or I would call um, uh, we, we want to surround ourselves by people who are going to um, uh, enable or condone our uh, our behaviors to stay where we at. Because and then we try to we try to uh, when, when we are put in situations where we are have a force of change or face change. We like to connect with other people to try to say, oh, they the bad person. No, they ain't the bad person. You just need to change. See, y'all don't, y'all want to stay in y'all comfort zone. And a comfort zone is, is, is your biggest enemy. The comfort zone is the biggest enemy to many of us. But we we tend to embrace it because it because we feel comfortable in it and we aren't willing to change our mindset or willing to do the work necessary to bring forth the change. That's the, that's a that's a straight up fact right there. And 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 we just got to get to that space, man. We got to get to that space to where we just say, hey, I'm going to do this thing. And, you know, contrary to what a lot of people believe um, and, and this God and his truth. Right. Most of the things that are going to be that are good for us and going to bring us benefit benefits to our lives. Right. We are naturally not going to want to do it. You know, we naturally it is. We, I, I don't naturally want to eat good. I don't, I don't, man, I personally hate drinking water, but water is good for me, right? That's a lot of things I don't naturally like to do that through discipline, through a lot of things, right? I have to change my mindset towards it to make myself do it and have to embrace the, the, the willingness, right, to change because I, I can see that, hey, the benefits of me doing this outweigh the, the uncomfortableness of this present, of my presence. The benefits of my future outweigh the discomfort of my presence so that through discipline, right, and through changing my mindset, I can go forth and, and make myself do certain things that's going to reap the benefit later. Or I can choose to stay comfortable and still be frustrated uh, in my future because I was unwillingness willing to change. I was unwilling to change. And that's a lot. A lot of us, we find ourselves in those spaces. We find ourselves in those positions. But it really boils down to that. It boils down to that. Um, and and we talk, talking about a lot of things. But one thing, one thing that I found that is very, that very key is a positive mindset is a very powerful thing. 
your mindset, your approach to certain things is very powerful because your mindset dictates how you react to certain things. Your mindset, your mindset will dictate how you respond to certain things. Your mindset and your mentality would dictate how you approach certain things, how you perceive certain things, your perceptions to the world. And a lot of times we waste so much time, energy, and effort responding to things because of we have fed negativity to our mindset and we haven't taken control of that mindset. So if we take control of our mindset, right, our response to a lot of things in our life would change. Our response to how we react to certain things, our response to how we see the world, our response to how we approach certain things would change. If we put get our mindsets in place and you are responsible for your own mindset, you are responsible for your mindset. You are. We can try to make arguments on a lot of things, but you the one responsible for your mindset. And, and, you know, that it, it can you can blame everybody that you want. But, you know, no matter how you put it, you are the person that's responsible for your own mindset. You are responsible for it. And you can you can make the argument up to, you know, in the environment that you grew up in. But I'm talking about those who have been adults. Right. Been out in the world and, 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 and been on your own. Right. You are the one responsible for what you feed yourself. Right. You are the one responsible for how you uh, what you in, intake. You are you are the one responsible for what you expose yourself to. But you are the one that can be same one to be responsible for the change that you see. You can be the one that's responsible for overcoming those things and becoming the person that you desire to be. You are the one responsible. Stop blaming your mama. Stop blaming your daddy. Stop blaming all these external things. Yes, they may have contributed to the state that you is in, but you are the one solely responsible for your ability to make those necessary changes to facilitate change in your life. So stop blaming other people and take control. Stop blaming other people and take control. Uh, hey, Miss Geraldine, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Nick, what's going on? You said you're absolutely correct. It took me a long time to figure this out. Yes. Listen, listen, and 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 I know that, and I'm not saying that from a from a uh um um a callous place or a being inconsiderate. Uh I'm I'm speaking that because you know it's it's so easy, you know, and, and hey, thank you, God, thank you, because it can get to this space. But it is it is a good place. But, um, you know, it, it's easy for us to put blame on other people that may have contributed to us thinking a certain way, being a certain way. It's so easy for us to do that. And I'm not saying that other people can't be responsible play a role into you being at that place, especially how you think. Because how we think, we are heavily influenced by the environment in which we come from. But if you stay there and you never change and you frustrated about being there, that's on you. You are the one to choose to embrace and carry that for the rest of your life or carry that into you where you at right now. You can do the work, but you got to be willing to change your mindset. You got to be and have a willingness to change because your willingness to change has a direct influence on how your mindset would be. Your unwillingness to change have a direct influence on how your mindset will stay. And you just have to be willing. You have to be willing. And I will tell you this, you know, that's nothing. That's that's some power found in uh, uh, in your mindset. That's some power found in your mindset. Um I have a saying that I say, um, I have a saying that I say, and I use it as a leader, but um, there's a saying that I say, and I've used it for a number of years. And one of the sayings that I say is that, uh, hey, you are in the best organization in the world. And I, I talk that to the people that I'm in charge of leading. And I said, you know why? And they said, no. And I said, because I'm in it. And then I asked them, why are you in the best organization in the world? And they said, because you're in it. I said, no, because you're in it. Then I go around and say, hey, you know, uh, if this is the worst uh, organization in the world, you know why? They said, no, I said, because you're in it. And my whole point about that is whatever 
organization that I'm a part of, and my mindset is the best organization in the world because I'm a part of it, right? I take ownership for the role that I play, right? And, and it's so powerful with that is it brings a sense of ownership. And my mindset, I carry that with me every day. That doesn't mean I don't have issues. That doesn't mean that we got things we got to overcome, but my mindset is set. My mindset is set. And I don't care what anybody else, you can't change me for believing it because of my mindset. And the same way I can have that positive approach to work, the same way I can have that positive approach to being a father, to being a husband, to being a leader, to being a, a follower, to being a, whatever role that I find myself in, I can have that same mindset. And my that mindset is a multiplier on how I impact the people and the things around me. But I am responsible for it. I am. Not my mama, not my daddy, not my sisters, not my brother. I am the one responsible for it. So, and for me to embrace that, I just have to be willing to change, uh, to change my mindset to cultivate my mindset, to change my mindset so that I can change my behavior to bring forth the things that I see. And I'll leave y'all with this. Uh, um, I think it was General, I mean, not General, but uh, uh, Secretary Rumsfeld said, uh, the quickest way to become, and I'm paraphrasing it, but the quickest way to become irrelevant is to not embrace change. And that is something that's, that I found that was very powerful because the quickest way to become irrelevant in our lives uh, and the quickest way to become irrelevant in a lot of areas in our lives and, and, and the quickest way to become irrelevant in our lives is to not embrace change. The quickest way to become irrelevant as a father the quickest way to become irrelevant as a husband, the quickest way to become irrelevant as a leader, the quickest way to become irrelevant in whatever role, in whatever role you may be fulfilling is your unwillingness to embrace change. And I'm not saying change just for the sake of change, but change is in those areas where you need to change. You need to grow. You need to evolve. You need to adapt. Adapt. You need to adapt to those things. And we all have areas that we have, no matter how good you may be, no matter how comfortable you may be in some, there are areas that we meet have to be willing to change. But the problem is many of us are unwilling to change. We are unwilling to change because we feel like we good. And we get to a place where we become so self-righteous that we overlook the necessary need to change. And we become agents of destruction instead of agents of change because we refuse to change our mindset. We refuse to change our mindset. I'll say, man, thank you guys so much for rocking with your boy. Go ahead on and uh, um, check me out on all these social media platforms. I appreciate you guys rocking with your boy. You guys mean a lot. Looking forward to the conversation going into the new year. You guys have a great and wonderful evening. God bless.